Well, good morning. I am currently leaving my house. Uh, got new mold last night. Gonna take a minute to get used to looking at the camera, I guess. But um, got my new mold from Epic Bait Molds last night uh, for our ice fishing line up here. So now, you know, providing everything goes well, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to start selling them within a, you know a week or two, whatever. It might only take me two weeks. Might take me one week to get everything squared away. But yeah, at the moment I'm kind of just uh, just trying to get used to filming. Uh, I've never done this before, so this should be interesting. Uh, hopefully, my capabilities are a little bit better by spring because that's when most of the serious fishing and stuff is going to take place. Um, be turkey up and all that good stuff. But for right now, it's just going to be the bait making deal, uh, and then ice fishing once we get some enough ice but right now we're looking at like maybe two to three inches and a select few bays so nothing's going to be really all that great to work with ta-da Yeah, so today we're gonna be shooting our ice molds. Uh, haven't shot them in a while. Basically, the only reason I don't have a huge stock piled up right now is just because it's it's too much of a pain to just shoot the one. Um, cavities are pretty small. I don't know if you guys can see. It. I don't know if it's gonna zoom in with my face there or not, but they're just so little that uh, you know they use like ounces of plastic. I, I mean, I guess it's well many ounces in the injector, but it's like, they use like a ridiculously small amount of plastic. So, I'm gonna run that guy, and I'm also gonna run this guy, which is brand new. We just got these from Epic Bait Molds. As you can probably tell, they're a pretty big sponsor of ours. Um, they put in a lot of hard work to make sure that we get everything we need to keep this whole train going. Um, you know, they've been there since day one, so it's you know it's a great thing to have people like that behind you. And uh, yeah, we just try to keep it keep everything the same. You know, keep them in business. They're helping keep us in business, so there's nothing like returning the favor. All right, so I got some plastic warmed up right here. I got like a cup and an eighth or something, and I got a bunch more here ready to go on. Running these in an 1800 watt microwave. My anchor cups. Uh, for like a cup and an eighth, I think I'm gonna run about four minutes. That should get it pretty close, and then I'll have to stir it and. You know, put it back in for another minute or something. Um, right now we got the 125 ice spike from Epic Bait Molds. And the, uh, is this a 1.4, I think, barbell ice grub. Looking doodad. Uh, not really sure what they're going to name, what I'm going to name them yet for, uh, for the business as far as Deep River Customs is concerned. But I will say this much, I have shot them both a handful of times already. And these things turn out absolutely sick. Check that guy out right there. Tell me that ain't awesome looking. It's like a wacky worm for ice fishing. It probably drives these perch up here nuts. And then as far as the crappies are concerned, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the go-to. I have zero idea what uh, camera angles are going to work the best here. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. I think I'm first, first go-to spot is going to be up here probably. Something like that. Look at that. Couldn't plan that out any better. All right, so uh, I guess first thing I'm probably gonna do is just shoot a bunch of white. That seems to be a pretty generically popular bait. I'm gonna do white, like a pearl white. So I'm just gonna shake up my color in here. Get some of that in there. Uh, whites are a little bit different than most colors usually just go try to keep them as dark or I say it's dark try to keep them as not see-through as possible um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. By the way, this is this isn't like a ridiculous amount of fumes here. A lot of it's just steam because it's like 30 degrees in here. Um, you should, however, always make sure you got your gloves on. Always make sure that you're topping off your sprue too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Definitely want to make sure that you're getting the sprue good and covered up because that plastic as it cools down is going to suck into that sprue and it'll give you air bubbles in the heads of your baits and stuff if you're not paying attention. But before my brother walked in, this is what we ended up with here. It's a pretty Pretty standard pearl white color. I got a, I got a few on the crappies in the perch. We're gonna eat these things right up. Okay, it's been about a minute here. Doesn't take real long for these guys to cool down, mostly because of how thick they make the walls on these molds. Um, these ones in particular, it's really not gonna take very long to cool them down because the baits are only about that big. But uh, just crack these guys open for you here real quick. Are hanging right from the screw just like that. I just run this through a peg over this direction right here on my hanging wall, and uh, on to the next one I go. That's pretty much how this works. And I'll just keep doing that about every about every minute until I run out of a color. So the next one. Where's those guys? All right, so got our two colors here. Um, typically, you want to go with a lighter color on one side, darker color on the other. I think for today, we what we'll do. We're gonna do chartreuse and black. Just uh, gonna shake this chartreuse up here. Make sure you get all the pigment mixed up good. Run some of that in this guy. You want that to be pretty thick, so you want to make sure you add quite a bit of that. So you can see pretty much as soon as you mix it, you're pretty much set to go. Um, I usually just tell by looking at the uh, at my mixing stick there how thick I think that's going to be when it comes out. So that's good and mixed up. That'd be fine. Now we're gonna run over here. Hit this with some black. throw just a little bit of uh gee i don't know i think for today's we're gonna do just a little bit of silver in there so i usually just write on top of mine but i got some one five silver right here pop that open and just a fuzz of it right there um in my earlier stages of doing this, I was running a lot of mixtures and I would measure everything. Jeez, I haven't used them in so long as plastic dangling on them, but I would measure everything with just metal measuring spoons, teaspoon, tablespoon. So, uh, that would keep everything a little bit more precise, but now it's just kind of where I just look at something and I pretty much know if it's mixed right or not. So these colors are looking pretty good. 
and they're cooling down pretty fast so let's go ahead and just shoot these guys we're gonna line up when we do this we're gonna make sure so our blending block splits everything 50 50 but if you go this way one half of the mold's gonna shoot one color one half of the mold's gonna shoot the other color that's not what you want you want it to be like this it's gonna be super uncomfortable for you to get used to uh, especially if you're just using clamps because then the mold's gonna to want to tilt but that's pretty much the only way you can do it and then it's gonna give you one half of the bait one color one half of the bait the other color so let's go ahead and do that draw these guys up here glove on this stuff's pretty hot and we're gonna top that sprue off and then go to the next one okay top that sprue off top the one we just did off separate those squeeze our extra back into the containers I don't know if you can see this or not. See that chartreuse? That would have been all over my hand if I hadn't have done anything as far as putting a glove on. That would have been that would have burned me so bad I would have probably cried. So you definitely want to make sure that you're wearing safety protection. It can never hurt to wear eye protection. Um, I just choose not to, I suppose. Um, I would not do that if I was you, though. I would highly recommend you wear your eye protection. Um, and, and definitely wear both gloves. So yeah. As you can see, it's already uh, stuck together pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this, uh, the top of the sprue here. Pull. Um, let's go ahead and crack this guy open and see how these molds laminate. It's the first time I've done this, so. Um, or at least on these molds, you know, it's the first time I've done that on these molds. So we're going to see, see how these guys turned out. These are really thin, so I'm kind of curious to see how they turned out. Oh, man, they turned out awesome. Look at that. Check that out. Those turned out so sick. And then the other side's got that uh, awesome awesome black with the silver and it almost turned into like a dark green the way that that uh the way that those colors mixed it almost turned into a dark green which is super cool i'm trying to get this stinking thing to focus and it doesn't really appear to want to i guess but yeah those turned out awesome Pretty decent. I won't go as far as to say that it, it uh, split the halves quite as good as the other one did, but they look pretty good, honestly. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Ah, my lighting's kind of crusty. Sorry about that. Look at that guy right there. I think it looks pretty good. That turned out all right. <laughs> so yeah, these things these things laminate pretty good, even though it's a small bait. And the uh, sprue top is really, really sh tiny. They, uh, they seem to work out pretty good. So, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and crank out a uh, pile of these, do some time lapse or something, I guess.
Okay, so I'm leaving the shop now. I'm on my way home. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys dig it. Um, probably gonna edit this thing, slap it up within a day or two. Um, kind of see how it goes. Uh, don't be afraid to let me know in the comment section below what you think I need to work on as far as like what you would like to see for content, um, what angles and stuff you'd rather see. I don't know. I'm sure there's a million miles worth of improvement for me to cover. So, you know, anything helps, let me know. You know, if you liked it, um, leave the old thumbs up down there. That really helps us YouTubers out. Helps get us um, in a position to where you know, our videos become searched further and helps us get monetized and all that good stuff. So, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Let me know what you want me to do in the future. Um, any any specific colors, whatever. Uh, maybe specific baits you want to see me get from Epic Bait Molds to work on making and stuff, and maybe we can make something happen. Um, really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe, you know, hit the notifications button that way you know when I, when I put the next one up if it's something you're interested in. Uh, probably gonna do a giveaway every 100 subscribers until I hit a thousand, and then I'll do every you know thousand subscribers until I hit 10,000. We'll probably go from there, but um, so every hundred subs, we're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, I'll have you guys help me out with what you think I should give away, but it'd probably be something along the lines of like, you know, 100 bucks worth of baits or something. Um, or maybe a bunch of baits made in a, in, a, in a video that I do. You guys all can just get them. Uh, probably gonna do different shirts and hats, stuff like that too, in the near future. So get some stuff like that made up. But uh, yeah, thanks a bunch. This is Deep River Customs signing off.